Hi guys and welcome to Unity Terrain Tutorial. Now, what I just want to show to you guys is all about terrain. Don't worry about the buildings and the character around. It's just to kind of like make it look a bit much better. So let me show you guys the terrain itself. And here we have a grassland and we have trees and we also have some mountains right at the back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these together and you see how you can put together a terrain like this add a character if you want the choice is yours and um, just play around with it make it look more look much better and over there those are the mountains that you guys are looking at with the trees as you can see it looks very natural so guys what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into unity development environment and we put something like this together using terrain tools all right guys so let's do that now i'm going to close this and we start a new project entirely and there we go guys I'm going to click on new and I will call it grassland terrain there we go that's the name of my project click on create okay now that my development environment is ready I'm going to need the following assets right there the terrain tools then I will also download the terrain to sample assets pack standard asset outdoor texture qualify baker house rpg underscore fps games assets industry then the grass flower pack as well so take a good look at those you don't have to use those but if you want the choice is yours so let me start as follows the very first thing I want to do now is to go straight to windows select windows and let's select package manager inside the package manager select or just type in near uh, terrain tools so let's I'm just waiting for the package manager to get ready yeah that is it so in there we want the terrain tools there we have to install the terrain tools there we go click on install right there okay now that the terrain tools is finished installing the next thing I want to do is right in here you see where we have download asset sample from asset store I'm going to click on that and there we go that's the terrain terrain tool sample asset pack I'm going to add it straight to my own asset so let's click on add to my asset and there we go guys so the next thing you want to do is you want to click on open in unity and that is it right there right inside my own project so I'm now going to click on import so if you're wondering what is the purpose of the let's click on import again there if you're wondering what is the purpose of this terrain tool sample asset pack in there you'll be able to use extra brush okay so that is it so I'm gonna click on okay import it's importing the whole lot now right there guys I've finished installing the sample asset pack the next one I want to install now is the standard assets okay with the standard assets you have to be careful because you will end up with an error so to get rid of those or to get rid of the error there are two codes here the first one is called force reset you have to uncheck the force reset before you import this very one and uh, let's scroll right down the second one is the the sample activator menu so let's uncheck that too and just click on import um, all of the assets required are now on the system as you can see there they are so I'm going to close this package manager I just close that we don't need it anymore those are the assets there the only one that I did not import is this uh, cornerflower which is right here it's inside the 
standard asset you should be able to see that inside standard asset is speed trees let's open it up so that you guys can see it if you go to the environment you'll be able to see that speed tree there we go there and there that there it is so that is fine okay those are the assets like I said so I'm going to reduce that now so let's come in here now let's go straight into Windows since we've already added our terrain tools click on that now select terrain without the terrain tools you won't be able to see this okay but though you can always use if you right click you can always use the terrain here but I intend to use the terrain tools okay click on terrain tools there we go I'm now going to grab the terrain tools and just peg it right there that is the terrain tools and right here you can see the width and the height the length everything is officially set for you I'm going to leave it as it is so the next thing you want to do is if you come right down here you now want to click on create you want to click on create that is it right there if you don't see if you, just for you guys to see the create let me move out the terrain tools one more time let's, let's just bring it out here so that you can see the create that is it right there I'm now going to click on create once you click on create the terrain should appear right here now there we go and there we go that's the terrain I'm going to peg it back where it was and there I've repositioned it there okay now that the terrain is on my system now if we go to the inspector you can see all of the tools that we need let's click on this very brush here click on that brush okay and that give you this drop down list so I'm gonna move this down a little bit so I'm gonna change the brush that is right there now let's change that because that's not the one I want I want the one that is called raise or lower terrain okay as you can see I'm having this the brush size let's that's the brush size there the strength let's reduce that brush size and here as well I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit more and there guys so let, let's make it around maybe two yeah make it around two that is it there so what will happen is if I click on that I will start creating something like hills and so on okay so let's see let's just increase this a little bit and there we go and there I'm going to change my change the brush that I'm using instead of this very one here the build in brush I'm going to select one of these yeah so okay I'm going to keep the brush size to approximately three I think that is fine so let's just maybe just make it three under dot get rid of that make it three there we go you guys might not be able to see the okay you should be able to see it now so and there we go I'm now creating terrain just across let's turn off the light so that you guys can see it and there uh, so that is it so I've just made up terrain there and if I run it now let's run it and you see how the hills look like okay guys as, as you can see the camera is not in place so I'm gonna end that let's reposition the cameras make sure the camera is selected I'm going to change the X axis of the camera to about 350 and here let's make that about 12 and the Z axis I'm going to make it 100 and let's go for 136 there so let's see how that's going to look like look at how it's looking now okay so let's run it and you guys should be able to see the hill that I've just put together there we go now what I want to do is you can see the hills here so what I want to do is I'm going to now add 
some texture to the to the terrain itself so let's do that now okay now let's change the brush type here so I'm gonna click on okay the drop down list and let's select paint texture there we go now that the paint texture is selected I want to add a layer so let's scroll right down we should be able to add a layer to these and right there that is add a layer if I add a layer I have some component I can select from either dust, moss, rock, rocky, sand and so on or the snowy type so let's say I select the rocky okay I've selected rocky and let's come in here that is how it looks with the rock on let's see that now with the rocky interface this is how it's looking okay maybe I'm gonna keep that I don't know yet I haven't made up my mind okay now that the rocky interface is selected let's click on this activate ins uh, inspector and let's see if we can increase the size of this rock and just let's raise it up raise yeah so I'm going to increase the brush size and increase the strength a little bit as a brush there let's make it about maybe five so that we can just get that done yeah you you guys can see what's happening in there so that I'm now creating my hill or mountain let's call that mountain there we go so that's fine that is fine I'm gonna leave it like that that's good enough for me so if I run it this is how it's gonna be looking right now so the next thing I will do is I'm gonna try and add let's add a bit of uh, let's go for maybe grass so let's come back in here so I'm gonna click click on oh let's add trees click on trees because we already have the the standard assets in there and that's the trees that I'm talking of cornflower and let's come in here just grab trees and in here you see where we have edit click on edit add trees now where we have tree prefab click on that small icon and there we go those are the trees that's the one I intend to use so let's double click on that or you can even use this the choice is yours so I want to click that and that is fine that the tree that's the tree selected click on add and that is it right there okay it's either I select this very one here that is called mass place tree if you click on mass place tree you can enter about a thousand the choice is yours I think 10,000 will be too much so I'm going to make that maybe let's set it for about a thousand because the terrain isn't that large so I'm going to set it for about a thousand and that is it that's a thousand that's how it's looking so let me run it so that you guys see how that looks like click on run and there we go guys that is how it's looking now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear some parts and let's add some buildings in there so stop it from running okay guys back in here what I want to do is I'm going to reduce this size just place some areas where I can add buildings and so on so to do that I'm going to click on just hold on to the control when you hold on to the control you can just clear some area out of it but for you to be able to do that you must select the tree make sure it's selected there i'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see what area i intend to clear then i'll move my camera there then i'm going to make it about let's say no that's too much let's go for about 80. now hold on to shift and just clear yeah that is it i've just cleared it now kind of like added some more trees to it before all right that is fine now you see the cleared area I'm now going to add some grass to that very area 
so let's go back in here and you see this property here paint details click on that and let's look for grass remember the grass that I imported from uh, the package manager so I need one of those grass so click on that and scroll right down you see where we have edit details click on the edit details and let's click on add grass texture now this dialog pops up add grass texture let's click on details there and let's look for whatever type of grass that I want let's see I may have to settle there, there we go look at some beautiful grass here click on that and let's come in here I've selected that and close that now if I leave the size the width okay that's fine the height here um, I'm gonna make that zero let's say zero point five and here I'm gonna make it about one minimum height or maximum height that the maximum is still a bit high though but let's make it maybe zero point seven and here point three okay that we do there now the choice is just if you want to increase the size of the brush i'm going to i might as well just increase it to maybe above 50 so that i don't spend much time so there we go i'm now adding the grass okay you might not be able to see it properly let's bring it down again now you guys should be able to see the the grass and there we go the grass is being added there now let's see the other side there yeah, guys that's the grass all right so okay i think that we do so i am going to let's run it so that you guys see how it's going to look like let's click on run there there we go guys so that's the grassland and we, you can see the the rocky mountain there so let's end that now what i want to do is i'm going to now add i'm going to add some cabins and maybe roads and uh, character okay guys so let's go straight into the project and what i then need is i need the the buildings let's see is it there no it's not there so what was the name of it that was meant to be baker house right my baker house is not there so i'm going to have to go back to package manager and let's get my baker house in place and that is it right there so select the baker house and let's just click on import it's only 14 megabytes so that will do and right there guys the baker house is in place so i'm going to close that so close the package manager so let's go to the baker house click on that and i'm going to now select a prefab inside the prefab i think okay let's increase the size of the feet to about let's go for five 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 and see okay that's it it's one of the buildings that i was working on earlier and that's that's fine okay so i might as well just press ctrl d copy it across and move it aside we have to ctrl d and bring another one to the side there we go there now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add FPS I mean let's come in here we we'll go to the character inside the character we have we want actually third person so that we can get the human yeah this very one third person drag it and just dump it somewhere here now those are the buildings and right there that is it right there maybe i should put on this light so that you guys can see it properly it's off now it's on okay that is that is it right there all right if i run it 
we can uh, get the uh, third person to move around but you guys won't be able to see it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add you can see it there I'm going to add the, the line of code so that the camera can follow the first person so the first person will be able to tour around the terrain so let's end that okay to get the camera to follow the third person I'm going to go straight to project now and let's click on the asset right click inside the project area and let's select C sharp script I'm going to call that camera controller there we go so let's select camera controller and open it up make sure it's selected and right there click on open okay now that our script is ready so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and let's declare the following variables so get rid of that so I'm going to call the very first one let's say public game object let's say objects double click on objects and that is going to be running man there we go now let's declare another one i'm going to call that private and this very private i'm going to use that to work with my vector let's say vector vector tree yeah that's fine let's say offset there now we now want the offset to do as follows See so right where we have void start, we're we'll gonna enter offset equals let it, let it transform dot position and we minus that from the position of the running man. Running man dot transform dot position there we go now we now need to use let's use late update so that the camera follows along so we say we're going to end up and say the position transform dot position that will be equals run man dot transform dot position And we then add the offset to it. This very one. Grab that. Cross that. And that should officially give us the correct position or the right position of the running man itself. Alright, I think that is done. So make sure it's saved. There. So minimize that and let's go back to our project now we need to attach the code to the main camera so grab the code and just drag it drop it on the main camera there there we go select the main camera camera controller it's now asking me who is the main who is the running man so that is the running man the third person controller grab the third person controller drop it right in there and that is it done okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into Mixamo and get this very character okay all you need to do is just grab a character that you want inside Mixamo I believe you guys know how to use that okay, this is the one I've got the boss so just make sure let's look for an animation for it let's just make it run something like that I'm going to type in run in there there we go and i will look for any color i think this one will do so all i then need to do is just click on download and that's it so i've downloaded that now i've officially added it straight in into my system here so let's double click on that that is it running man and that's the guy so select it and and the properties we need to now convert it to 
humanoid make sure you select humanoid and the animation I'm gonna make the animation loop there we go that is it checked there now the next thing is I might as well just do that in here right click and let's go into create and inside there let's select animator and I'm just gonna call it running or run that's why or runner runner that's fine now let's double click on the animator itself now right inside this character click on that triangle and just come right here we need the triangle of the animation there drag it in there that's the triangle for the animation that shows that it's running if you click on it tells you the speed at which it's running that is one that's very fast okay I'm gonna come back in there and reduce that size but I'd like you guys to see that so I'm no I'm gonna come back in here okay collapse that grab the man the running man and just dump him there I think that is huge I'm gonna change that to maybe zero points let's say point zero zero two I repeat that for y axis as well and z axis that is it over there I think it looks a bit too small yeah it's a bit very 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 small let's make that 0 0.02 0 0.02 0 0.02 here there we go that's it I think that's a little bit alright maybe we just make it 3 then 3 3 and 3 you're right that's, that's ok so if I run it now we should see him running away but before then we need to add the animation to it go back to the project that is the controller grab the controller okay it needs the controller grab the controller and drag it and just dump it in there now run and there we go you see him go so let's get the other guy to follow so that he go and officially inspect the whole area so there we go you see that and that's it running around the terrain there and that's it guys that is how you create your own terrain so now you see the man running all the way over there so I'm gonna end that the speed is a little bit too fast so let's reduce the speed there so let's double click on the or create open up the animator again make sure the animator is open let's drag this so that you guys can see what I'm about to do click on the animator controller right there instead of one I'm gonna change that to let's say zero or point zero two point zero two I'll make that three that's fine okay so let's run it and see now run and there we go it's getting ready to move so the other guy can do his own thing as well and there look at them go okay let's wait for it to go come back a little bit and that is how you create your own animation and create your own terrain as well Okay, so with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. Bye for now.